This is a small 1S quad fitted with the DJI 04 system. Specifically, it's the Flywheel Firefly 16 1S Nano Baby version 3, and it comes with the standard DJI 04 ear unit installed, but it doesn't just come with that. It's pre-fitted here with the 04 wide angle lens kit, and it's got a number of little features that I think make this a really nice little quad. Now, in this video, I'm going to give you an overview of this quad. I'm not going to show you too much about the wide angle lens kit in this video. I actually have a separate video on that that's gone up on the channel, and I'll put a link to that in the description. But what we are going to do is take a look at what this little quad is all about. Before I get into this though, I do just need to be clear that Flywheel did send me these over to take a look at for free. However, they've not paid me to make this video. They've not seen this video before it's been published. And as always, my thoughts are entirely my own. Okay, so to go with its official name, this is the Flywoo Firefly 16 1S Nano Baby Version 3 04 Express LRS Edition. That means it comes pre-fitted with Express RS 2.4 gigs. It supports 1S batteries, has DJI 04 on board, and it has their motors, their stack, firmware, and we'll talk about that as we move through the video. Now, I'm not going to waste too much time doing an unboxing on this. I'm just going to show you what you get. You get the quad. You get some accessories in the bottom of the box. So we get a pack of stickers from Flywoo. We get a little ND filter in this kit as well, by the look of it. What is that? That is Flywoo ND4. So they give us an ND4 filter, bags of silica. And then we have the accessory bag kit that has our cables, our prop tool, some additional screws, a screwdriver, as well as our props as well. Now, walking you around the main spec of the quad, first of all, and giving you a bit of a look at it. The first thing you'll notice is that it does have the Flywoo wide angle lens kit fitted. I'll talk about this a bit more separately in a minute, but this is removable. This is what increases the field of view on that 04 camera from 117 degrees to 155 degrees. I actually have a separate video on this, which I will link to in the description, and we'll have a look at how that performs a little bit more later on. Now, with regards to the spec on the quad, it is based on the Groku F405 HD 1S 5 amp AIO with Express LRS built in. It has 2.4 gigs Express RS and that actually has a TXCO oscillator as well, which should help improve the Express LRS performance. 5 amp ESC and it is based on the F405 CPU. Based on the ICM 42688P gyro and it has 8 megs of black box storage on board. Obviously, we also have that 04 ear unit pre-fitted here as standard too. There's nothing particularly special to tell you about that. It's nice though that that is integrated into this. And then we have that custom Flywoo lens mount kit for the camera. And then that allows you to mount ND filters directly on the front there. But it also means you can use it with the 04 wide angle lens kit that Flywoo make as well. And all of this is housed in this TPU canopy that goes over the top. With regards to the motors, it's fitted with the Flywoo Robo 23500KVs and it comes with the HQ 40mm times 3 props. Now, as for the battery on this, it is using the A30 connector. It is a 1S quad and it is designed to be used with their 1000mAh HV pack. You can see that is available there. Flywoo say that that'll give you about three minutes and 40 seconds flight time. We'll have a look at what I get on that in the real world later on. Now, alongside all of that, there is also some nice other little touches on this quad as well. For instance, Flywoo have added the 1S battery booster for the DJI 04 ear unit onto this. That is what actually helps keep the 04 ear unit powered rather than the 04 ear unit going straight to the battery. It's actually been stabilized and it gives stabilized voltage. I'm just trying to find where that board is actually hiding. It is mounted there. You can see it down there on the input down there. And that provides stable voltage for the DJI 04 ear unit to keep it being supplied with enough voltage so it doesn't brown out. For those who don't know, the DJI 04 ear unit doesn't officially support 
1S voltages. People have found it does work down to about 3.3 volt reliably. Some people have got the O4E unit going down as low as 2.8 volt, but it can brown out. And as a result of that, Flywoo have created this little booster board, which they've mounted uh, there, that provides reliable voltage to the O4E unit, ensuring that it doesn't cut off in flight. Flywheel state, this board provides a stable 5 volt up to 3 amp output, even at input voltages as low as 2.6 amp, ensuring total uninterrupted supply for the O4E unit. Looking around the rest of the quad, the USB ports are nice and accessible. We have a micro USB port down there for the flight controller. You obviously have a USB-C on the side for the O4 ear unit. Would have been nice to see a USB-C on here, but actually micro does help on smaller quads like this, although it is a little bit more delicate. It has a replaceable TPU battery holder on the bottom for the battery. You've got TPU pieces all around the arms as well. It's obviously got a composite frame. And overall, I have to say, it's a very nice and clean package. Alongside the quad, we also have some nice ultralight prop guards available as well. Flywoo say that they are 23% lighter than their previous ones. These do actually have to be screwed on if you want to mount them. You would need to undo the screws for the motor and then replace them with them, putting the prop guards on board if you wanted to fly this indoors. So the next thing I'm going to do is show you a little bit of footage from my initial testing of the aircraft as well as a bit of flight down the beach. You can see it's covered in a little bit of sand. I have crashed it quite a few times actually and I have to say it has held up fine. Although I have got some little observations which I'll talk about a little bit more later on. This first bit of footage is actually the same footage that I showed in the wide angle lens review and I'm doing that on purpose because I have some different observations that I want to talk about. These are from my very first test flights with the quad. I have the wide angle lens kit fitted. Here we're recording in 1080p 16 by 9 rock steady turned on and overall the image quality is good. You will see some lens flare from that lens and if you haven't seen my review of the wide angle lens I suggest going checking it out because I talk about that a lot more. This though is about the quad and I have some observations from my first few flights out the door overall it flies very well although i think the tune does need a little bit of work you will see a little bit of prop wash coming through now and again here you'll see me come around and i do these flights on purpose i do some very simple basic testing testing on and off the throttle and you'll see some prop wash show itself up in a second there you go you could see the wobble appear there just as i came off the throttle and turned around it's not that the quad is badly tuned but it definitely needs a little bit of work i'm flying it here with the heavier of the two batteries that i have this is the 1s 1000 milliamp hour there's a few occasions where you'll just see that wobble kick in i am going to do a little bit of work on the pid tune just to see if we can tidy this up at all but other than that it does fly quite nicely what i also want to mention as well is the footage from this with rocksteady because that is obviously another great feature of this quad and with that wide angle lens it really doesn't look too bad i'm not going to pretend it's ever going to be the best footage in the world you're flying here in a 1s build and the very fact that we are managing to have dji 04 in a 1s build is is an incredible feat in itself we now have that fantastic 04 image quality flying it with that lens does bring a little bit of a compromise and that compromise is you're going to get some lens flare some spots come through as a result of having those two pieces of glass but the very fact that we're able to get dji 04 in a platform this small is just incredible the rest of this footage you're about to see was taken down the beach where I was doing some testing with the aircraft just to get the grips with how it feels, but also see how this wide angle lens system actually works as well. We're going to test it in 4x3 and 16x9. It was a little bit windy for a 1S aircraft down here, but I have to say what I really love about this little quad is the fact that you've got a 1S freestyle quad. It gives you 
quite good flight time. I actually get over four minutes on it, which I will show you in a minute. You can absolutely use this quad though for getting footage. Here is the O4 system with the wide angle lens. You've got that amazing O4 image quality. You are getting some lens flares as a result of this double glass setup, but it is the best image quality we can see today from an aircraft of this size. There is no question things like HD0 offer the lowest latency, things like Avatar HD, the widest compatibility. However, where O4 stands out is the pure eye candy, just how good the image looks. You will see in a minute, I'll be flying over the water at low level and the detail that you get from the O4 system, even this standard camera is incredible. It still blows me away every time. Here, flying over that water I was talking about at low level, and it's just incredible how good the image quality from this system is. I still firmly believe the people who don't fly O4 don't really comprehend just how good the image quality is from this system in the live view, let alone in the onboard DVR recording. Again, just to show you the onboard footage from the goggles, just so you can see what that field of view looks like. We are getting that vignetting on the lens a little bit at the side. And I also want to show you what it looks like in 4x3 as well. Here is the 4x3 view from the goggles. Unfortunately, though, that 4x3 image on the aircraft isn't exactly usable, especially when you're in wide mode. This is the standard wide mode here. So you would have to crop in to be able to get usable footage from it in this mode. This is with Rocksteady turned off. So it gives you an idea of the image view that you get. Finally, I just wanted to show you that flight time I was talking about. Here's the end of a flight. I was just moving it around around me just to try and see how far I could go before the battery completely died. You can see there we've got over four minutes on the clock. So again, you get quite good battery life from this, even though it is fitted with that O4 ear unit. Okay, so before I wrap this video up and give you my thoughts, I just want to talk about price. Now, this little quad is available from Flywoo for about $240 US or about £179 in the UK. That comes with the O4 Lite ear unit fitted as standard. You can see there are options that you can get it in. So you can get it with the ND filter kit like I've shown you here today. But you can also get it as the drone only without the ear unit. And if you had your own one, you can get it for £89 or roughly $110 US. You also have some options on the receiver as well. You can get it with DJI Bind and Fly or Express RS. I've obviously got the Express RS version. You do pay a little bit more for the Express RS version simply because of they are having to add another little receiver. Okay, so just to share with you some final thoughts on the little Firefly. Now, I have to say it's a great little 1S freestyle quad. Flies fairly well. A little bit of tuning needed, but overall, it's a tough little cookie as well. I really like, though, what footage you can get from this because it is a mini cinematic quad and you can absolutely use that O4 footage from it as well with that wide angle lens. I crashed this quite a few times, which I haven't shown in the footage, and I didn't even break a prop. It's really resilient, nice and strong. And if you're interested in getting something like this, just to give you a bit of fun and fly into places that you wouldn't be able to fly a four inch or five inch, it's worth a look. Flight time is decent as well. As I said, getting over that four minutes, which is great to see on an aircraft of this size. Really, no downsides to this at all. Now, if you're interested in getting it, there will be a link to it from Flywoo in the description. I want to say a big thank you to Flywoo for sending it over. I am also publishing my separate video on the wide angle lens kit. So please check that out as well. If you're interested in seeing more details around the wide angle lens, this was about the quad. There will be a link to that video in the description. Anyway, that's it from me on this one. I hope you have found this video useful. If you have, 
please consider checking out the links to my Patreon as well as buying me a coffee. It is only through the support of my patrons we're able to make content on this channel. And if you'd like to support us, please do consider checking it out. Anyway, that's it from me. Stay safe. I will speak to you soon.